God can set you free. Luke chapter 4 verses 18 and 19. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. One of the common challenges prevalent among young people especially is, is that of uh, addictions and things that they feel really difficult to break out of. Uh, and uh, of course, this is not limited or restricted to just young people. And people of all ages can, uh, can find themselves trapped and um, uh, in, in, in inescapable uh, addictions and bondages and so on. And so this week, we want to take some time to talk about overcoming addictions and uh, approach this uh, from a very biblical, scriptural way and see how God wants to bring freedom into our lives. As we read in the scriptures today, the Lord Jesus announced that he had come to set the captives free and he had come to announce liberty to those who are oppressed. And that's what we should begin with, the fact that the Lord Jesus Christ came to set the captives free. So no matter what we find ourselves uh, enslaved to, captive to, whatever those addictions are, we have good news. We start out from look, by looking at Jesus Christ who said that by the power of the Holy Spirit, He sets the captives free. That means there is hope for you and me that we could be completely free for what, from whatever enslaves us or whatever holds us captive, whatever is overpowering us. You see, when uh, people are in addictions, uh, they feel completely helpless. Something bigger and stronger than them seems to have uh, overpowered them. They feel oppressed, so to speak. But the good news is, Jesus said he came to set the captives free. In another place, which we will talk about later this week, in John chapter 8 and verse 36, Jesus announced, he said, If the Son makes you free, you will be free indeed. That means if Jesus Christ sets you free, the freedom he brings into our lives is complete. It's genuine. It's lasting. And he said, If the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. That's what we want to focus on. So today, take courage, take hope. Jesus Christ sets the captives free. He sets you and me free. There is nothing that enslaves us today that we cannot be free from. If the, if the Lord Jesus sets us free, we will be free indeed. Let's pray together. Lord, we turn our eyes toward you, knowing that you have come to set the captives free. And if you set us free, Lord, we will be free indeed. I pray for everyone listening that if there is anything that's enslaving them, anything that overpowers them, that they feel helpless about, let hope arise in their hearts. Let faith arise in their hearts, knowing that you, have, you can set us free, and you will, Lord. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.